So you guys, we decided to pull the table horizontally this time, which is something that we usually do during the holiday because we take away the screen, which is usually back there. And plus it feels more inviting, more cozy, like more uh, set up for a conversation, which is the feeling that I wanna keep for these special days. And uh, as you can see, these are gonna be the centerpiece for our Easter brunch, which is, which is the project that the kids worked on this morning with me. And uh, I keep it very minimal. I don't shop for uh, seasonal decorations, as you know that. So I just work with everything that I have around the house and I'm just gonna pull up the stuff and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna turn this table into a little Easter brunch setting. So the only new thing that I bought is this table runner from Hobby Lobby and just cause it was with a 40% off, I like the, uh, material it's really nice i'm gonna be keeping this one and using it for a very long time so i did need a table runner i didn't have it so uh, this one came out perfect at the right time okay this is gonna be a very problematic with you <laughs> trying to pull the table runner oh no what are we gonna do i'm trying to show them yeah you like that don't you huh all right guys let's see for today i guess <laughs> Anyway, so this is such a nice table runner. It's 100% cotton. All right, so step number one, done. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it very rustic, very minimal. And now I have a, a question. <laughs> I have two different china. I have one that I got, yeah, from, Craig, from Craigslist. Okay, she's gonna vlog for my mom said. All right, so I have this set of china right here for 16 people uh, and it's a discontinued one. So it's so pretty, it's made actually in Japan. It's such a great quality, isn't it pretty? And I got all these for only 50 bucks on Craigslist years ago. And I still have it, I love it. Uh, we managed not to chip any pieces of it and uh, we actually use it for every day because I like it to just decorate the table is something that I like to do for my family but I have uh, I'm really undecided whether I should use this one or the blue and white plates that I have from my grandma I don't know if it's gonna be too busy with the runner that I have so this is what it will look like uh, this is not that bad but it's two different shades of blue with us which it shouldn't matter too much but i think i'm gonna go for these white ones with the rose right here in the center actually i could go for a mix and match look all right i think i like this look of mix and match since i couldn't decide right Yana? we went for both so this is what it's gonna look like as far as the dishes and the centerpiece. All I'm gonna add is a white pitcher that I got from Ikea, so it's gonna look really nice for our water. But so far, I'm liking it. Do you like it, Ariana? Are you getting excited over Easter? You gotta take your pictures, okay? That's happening next, if I can fit everything into one afternoon. The kids are playing in the background. Can you hear them, guys? That's gonna look so pretty tomorrow, huh? For the past couple of days, you guys, we've been thrifting with the kids and we went to Goodwill to look for these uh, vintage cute little cups here because they wanted to match mom and daddy. Uh, so uh, that's what they found and they picked. So they got this little countryside mug right here. And then this is another one that they picked, which is like a, a birdhouse with these cute birds. Aren't they cute? And then this is Serena, she likes the tacky one. All right, so I'm gonna be putting these ones by their seats. There you go, it's starting to look pretty. So I went to our front yard and I picked up some of a lavender from a lavender plant. And these are gonna be put like in a couple of them on each plate, just to add a little bit of decor. I mean, if you want, you can really get fancy. I try to keep it as minimal as possible and still try to give it a nice look. 
and I think that every time you bring in nature elements into your um, setting which is in this case my table it helps a lot it adds everything that you're missing I think and one more thing is that once these lavender flowers dry we're gonna be making some we can make bath bombs with these ones oh yeah we can crush them and we can make bath bombs all kinds of stuff so yeah we're gonna use these flowers this a lot you guys I like it? it yes i think everybody's <gasps> excited about easter huh yes tomorrow's easter dennis can you believe it <laughs> i i remember it being april fool's day and oh. i still think it's christmas it went by pretty fast didn't yeah. it yeah it's like christmas and then it's already almost easter remember the previous day when you put those Little fake stuff on pasta. Oh. Yeah, one time on April, because my mommy and dad put fake animals in our pasta. <laughs> we did, crazy. didn't we? Okay, so I'm trying to decide how I'm gonna display the eggs on this pretty plate over here. If I should put a little bit of paper underneath it. I wish that I had a, a cotton napkin or stuff like that, but I don't. Not in the list, I don't wanna go look for one, so. I think I'm gonna go for this pretty paper anyway. So there you go. These are the eggs the kids colored yesterday. I'm gonna be putting back in the refrigerator. This is just to show you guys what it's gonna look like tomorrow. You guys like it? I love yeah. it. It's All awesome. right. Thank you, sweetie. All right, so this is the picture that I got from IKEA a couple of years ago. There you go. And I also use it as a flower vase when I don't need it for the table it's food safe so i think i like it i think i'm okay with that it's pretty so I just picture like some red strawberries here and the little plates and then we're gonna make some fluffy uh bunny looking pancakes in the morning that's what we're gonna have they're gonna be opening their baskets and oh yeah one more thing let me show you guys here i forgot to show you this uh cute fabric uh, Easter Bunny looking treat bags that I got for each one of us. So since the kids have been working on making their cookies this afternoon, but they're just cooling right now, and we're gonna be uh, decorating them with icing. I'm gonna be putting their big Easter egg cookies that they made for each one of them inside these little bags that they come with these uh, strings. And I'm gonna be sitting right here on their plate. So when they wake up in the morning, they're gonna have the special cookies that they decorated in the afternoon. So it's gonna look like something like that, basically. And then uh, also I got the kids some fresh oranges and I'm gonna be putting them right next to the place just to add a little touch of color and obviously uh, for their breakfast. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place these fabric bags on the right plates for each one of the kids. I don't know if I should consider daddy one of them. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, and four. This is the one that's missing the string over there. Okay, and as you can see, just by adding these oranges, they give the little pop of color and they make the table look a little bit more fun, you know, like spring-like. There you go, you guys. This is what it's gonna look like tomorrow morning. Isn't that pretty? It's very simple. I barely spent money. All I did is actually buying food and uh, just picking up a couple of the flowers that we have in our own house and just utilize everything that I already have around the kids made the little trees so it's just memories you know that they carry on with them and this is it you guys i hope you're gonna have a, a wonderful easter from my family to yours you guys happy easter have a wonderful wonderful day and i will catch you in the next video bye bye